And we are live. What's going on, everybody? You are tuned in to Mastermind Through Tough Times. We do this every Tuesday at 2.30. Thank you for joining us. We have a great show for you. All we ask is that you like, share, and comment so that you can be entered into the drawing at the end of the show. Oh, we have a good drawing for you guys. We'll be giving away. I see you showing some love in the comment section. All right, Margaret, what we got? You think it will make you happy? Get all the enhancements. Hey, shout out to everybody for those enhancements. We're enhancing it like Big Papa for the theme song today. Hey.
that you guys tune us in. Definitely like, share, and comment. Let us know you're here in the comment section. Show us some love. We have a great show for you. Just jamming out. All up play your nose. What's yes. up, we in the building, mastermind through tough times. What's up? Talking about these male enhancements. Mm. I think I missed the production meeting on, on this <laughs> show's topic. Uh, anyway, I am your host, Michael G. Davis, broker CEO, Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Realtor plus business coach, aka Professor X, because the way I peel back that brain of yours and move them barriers out of your way so you can bust through them challenges. Bust through them. Join as always, my girl to the right. Margaret. Hi, y'all. This is Margaret, also known as the Steve because I will flip on you when it comes to negotiation. I come out nice and Sweet, but then I bring the hammer. She shank you real quick. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and you know you was cut. Right. And then as always, the one that keeps y'all going, keeps you jamming, get the party, get the energy flowing. My super producer in the back, jamming Jay. What's going on, everybody? It's your keeper realtor, aka Jay Joseph, aka X-ray, getting down to your real estate needs. I see what you can see. Boom. <laughs> And here we go. The day after Memorial Day. Oh, after yeah. Tough time. So everybody enjoy that three-day weekend yesterday? Yes, very. Very, very much so. I got really, really wet. I went down to Kima, <laughs> Kima Boardwalk and got really, really wet. Thank you, Mrs. Davis. Thank you, my, my wife of almost 12 years. Thank you for making us drive home boat yesterday. We really appreciate it. Did I go to the beach? We went to Kima. We oh, went to Kima. We got on the beast. Oh, cool. yeah. You got on the beast? And you got really wet? How did you not get really wet? <laughs> she had a better driver. <laughs> it got to be. Everybody. Did anybody did anybody get wet that was on the boat with you? Yeah. Okay, so you was just in the right seat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they need to so they need to they need to make people aware next time. Where you sit, and sometimes they'll say, Hey, do y'all want to get wet? And then they'll say, Yeah, or sometimes they're like, No, he said, Okay, you don't want to get too wet, sit here. Oh, they ain't give us that option. You listened, yeah. <laughs> them boys was like, Them boys, like, come on, come forward, watch your step, come forward, watch your step. There's a seat, sit there. There's a seat. That's how they do it. Set up, well, you set up. Want to get wet. Said they gave you an option. They had a little disclaimer that said, You may get wet. You are going to get with what you're okay. saying. Anyway, but uh, I was explaining what the mastermind through tough times is all about. So it's just a little bit of shop talk. We come together and we just talk about randomness, like we just did. Random. What's it really about? But we really say professionals and we come together and we do it. It's a lighthearted show. And that's how we do it. So yes. we always start out with what's trending, oh, twending in Twitter. Yes. So what you got for us, Marvin? Okay, so twinding at number one is hashtag pride. So today is Friday. Well, it's, it's the beginning pride of month. Pride Month. Yes. yes. And today is our first day. Let's see what some tweets are saying. Wave your flags. Okay, let's see. If love can bloom on the battlefield, it can bloom anywhere. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Happy Pride, everyone. Live your truth. Happy Pride. So with pride, do you say it every day? Like every day is happy pride or is it like, so it's not a day, it's a month. Cause like, cause like you don't say like during black history month, you don't say happy black history. 
first day. Uh, like today, today I told my. <laughs> so you, just you know, say, Happy Pride Month. You say Happy Pride Month. Yeah, Happy Pride. So while you're in the month of June, any day in June, you can say Happy Pride Month. Yeah. Hmm. You it know. Like say, happy, happy, happy Black History, History Month. Or happy Pride. Happy, happy Pride. Pride sound play. That sound real nice and smooth. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. Pride. Happy Pride. Pride. It's a celebration. What is it? Black History. <laughs> happy Black History. Well, you okay. Cool. Happy Black. Happy, happy Pride. Black <laughs> Excellence Month. There we go. Black is Black Excellence. What would you say? Happy Black Excellence Month. Happy B E. You tripping? I know. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so that's training at number one. I saw a real cute one with Beyonce. Like all of her dancers were in different colors, and they made the rainbow. What? That was really cute. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably gonna be able to find it now. So training at number two, iCarly. So Paramount Plus reveals the first trailer for the. So they're bringing our Carly back. Yes. Our Carly was in Disney. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be like a different set of kids or the same set of people older. I liked our Carly, to be honest with you. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. Hmm. I thought it was pretty funny. They look like different kids, though. Okay. I'm seeing a lot about Paramount Plus. Yeah, that's Carly. She, she looks like they she look the only one. Older. That's what I'm saying. She looks like she's the only one that's left from the last class. Well, she oh, the little the boy. That's the, well, yeah, it was about her. Come on. So them two, that was the brother. Mm-hmm. That was in 2012, 2021. Oh, yeah, so the brother is older. So the brother's she's there. She's older. Them only two that made it. Who was that? That's her brother. Okay. Oh, all right. The show you grew up with. Okay. Hi, Carly. Oh, you know what? I'm not thinking about our Carly. I'm thinking about Victorious. Victorious oh, okay. is the one I really liked. You've gotten them mixed up. I did. No, I remember I called it too. My daughter's my daughter was really into that. At, you know, she had this she had this moment where she, through time where she went through Netflix and started looking at old Disney shows. A lot of kids do it, that. Yeah. Why though? I don't know. You get your, do get that. your own generation. No. Hey, it wasn't even my generation. That was like that was like Madison's generation. So then she would she would sit down there and watch. Now that was cute. Like she would sit down there and watch the shows because Madison would remember. Like, oh, I remember this show. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, Paramount has me thinking about maybe getting a subscription. I don't want it, but they but you won't get Disney Plus. No. Okay, I was only thinking because Mark Wahlberg is coming out with a oh, new movie tell you. called The Infinite, and it looks so good. And I'm the like, Infinite. maybe I can get it. Just for that particular movie. It Interesting. So good. Okay. Now this is what I didn't understand. So Netflix has this series called Ragnarok. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm digging it. But I thought Disney Plus had all of the Marvel rights. Oh, so Ragnarok is like a cultural thing. It's uh, like their Valhalla, the the Viking myth and thing. So Ragnarok been your way before Disney. Yeah, but they showed that Thor horn though. I mean that Thor hammer. They showed that Thor hammer at it's, the end. It's it was in their way before. Yeah, that's a part oh, of the, the Thor myth. hammer. Yes. Oh, you're right. Like like with so Zeus. Thor. Yeah, Thor is one of them. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and it's really good. I Have like you looked it. at it? I'm I'm three episodes in. All right, I'm gonna look at I it. I like it. What about um, Jupiter's legacy? I loved it. They ran out of episodes. I'm like, y'all ain't got yeah. no more. Jupiter's Legacy was the bomb, too. I, I love Jupiter's Legacy. <laughs> Jess is like, it? what? You What's twinning? Yes. None of that is twinning. <laughs> I've never heard of either one of those. She <laughs> <laughs> Number three, we have Thankiversary. What's that? Hmm. That's a hashtag. Yes, hashtag Thankiversary. And it's from T-Mobile. Let's see. Contest. I put twice so much. My child scout master was caught stealing from the children's account. He stole six thousand plus cash donations, so true amount is unknown. The individual is facing criminal charges, but the money won't be recovered. My wish is to help the kids financially. Thank anniversary. Hmm. So this is a way for people to beg. <laughs> oh, Maria, you have so much tact. Yes, you do. <laughs> 
they 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 look it's opportunities for you to contribute. Okay, so my mama called this <clears throat> mm -mm. pole mouthing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hey, oh, Malvin. the kids lost they they uniform to the truck fire. Mm. And your mama be like, I don't want to hear that yes, pole mouth. Somebody Malvin. on dialysis, and y'all can <laughs> give what you have, uh, what you can. Don't nobody want to hear that. And your mama be like, don't nobody want to hear that pole mouth. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so T-Mobile is helping some people out. All right, WW discussion. K-pop. K-pop. K-pop seems to be trending weekly. Hey, like it's, I, I'm there. just saying, I feel like you should have an A-pop, F-pop, G-pop. I mean, why Korea get their own pop? He's really pretty. <laughs> Boy, just shouldn't look like that. Yeah, he's really pretty. Y'all want to see? Oh, yeah, they see him. They, they see that boy. Okay, must be I don't know what none of that to, is. To them. We ain't know what none of that meant. Mm -mm. We got to step our K-pop game up. Okay, so number five, trending. Hashtag toast me. Okay. Apparently, today is Say Something Nice Day, so I'm turning Twitter roasts into, into Twitter to toasts. Oh. Reply with hashtag toast me below so I can say something nice about you. Who's Ted Lasso? That's cool. Who is that? Let's go see. I think he's a, he's somebody because he he verified. I mean, but I think they be them boys be passing out verifies like food stamps these days. <laughs> well, I think that's nice for you to get <laughs> on Twitter get and blue, say something nice. Get that blue somebody. chick. Who is he? Let's see, Ted Lasso. Who are you? Anybody know who Ted Lasso is? He's a father. A coach. Um, oh, this was um uh that's uh what's his name? You know who that is. No, yeah, he's that's in what a, I'm trying to find out. He has a show on Apple, Apple Plus. But uh we know who he is though. He's a comedian? Yeah, he's been in um what show what he's was he in? Ted, oh my god. No, yourself. that's his fictitious name. Ted Lasso. Ted that's Lasso is his name. character name. Yeah. Okay. What is his name? So on this show, does he play a coach? He plays a coach. So he's an ex-football coach. He but he went overseas and he's coaching soccer, but he's never played soccer. But they hired him to coach. What is his name? Sounds good. If only we knew the name. <laughs> you would know, like if if you if you like click on his face. Yeah, you I, click I, on his would, I did click on his face. You think that people would be able to tell us? You you know who he is. Anyway, y'all know who this man is. He's in like character. Keep calling me. I, I, I don't even recognize this man. Sorry to this man. I couldn't tell you who this man. Is. <laughs> Hope I don't sound ridiculous. But I don't know who this man. Ridiculous. Is. Uh, ridiculous. Right. Do you know Jess? Does Jess know who that is? No, Jess doesn't know. All right. All right. So you ready to jump into these our topic for today? Sure. I'm last if I scroll real quick. I don't I see a lot of K-pop trending. I Ooh, call Coachella. It. Coachella. Coachella. Yeah, Coachella. Okay, mm, I guess somebody. It returns April 15 next year. You can register now. Okay. Click, click on it. Okay. Guess we move on. Ooh. So our topic for today is male enhancements. What? Yes, y'all. What are we supposed to be talking about with that? Well, I thought it would make a, a great topic because we usually hear about females enhancing themselves. What are so, what are things that females enhance themselves with? Well, with nails. They, oh yeah, your nails look good, girl. Thank you. Good job. See, you if you, enhancing will make you happy. When I get my nails done too. Enhance. There you go. Enhance. So it's not taboo for males to get enhanced. I mean, is that an enhancement though? It's just me getting my, my a manicure. A manicure. Is uh, the, the, did they look better before or after? So that's an enhancement. Because I mean, I look better when I bathe. When I when I'm dirty and then I get clean. That's, that's an that enhancement. An enhancement? Is that enhancement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you were smelling before <laughs> and you smell better after, that's an that's enhancement. An enhancement. Yes. That's a better. We've grown. We've yes. evolved. 
Okay. Yeah, so it's like it's always been like the females or women doing this, 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 mm-hmm. and then the males get left out. Do they know? So, hey, y'all. Well, not in today's day. Well, no, not in today's day. It's, it's been on the rise. So you have, you know, breast implants for men, for women, oh, for and women, you have yeah. pack implants for men. Really? Why don't they just go lift some weights, they do some push ups? It's easier mm. to go and pay the man to do it. I guess so. Pay your doctor. <laughs> There's chin done. implants if you want a more chiseled look. Oh, you want to be more. Yeah, more rugged, square. Rugged around mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's cheek implants. You know, they always had the nose. The nose you job. You know, Michael Jackson made that famous. Yeah, so you always had that. Because I was looking at an episode of Botched, mm-hmm. and it's like, okay, so there's more men coming in because they've been getting more work done. But it'd be botched? Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's not all of them are botched. It's just a show botched. So you see a lot of men coming in now mm-hmm. because there are a lot of men getting enhancements. In many places. Yes. Yeah, so I saw one on TikTok. They had the male Brazilian butt lifts. They got males getting their butts lifted? They do. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all can play the game too. Now, so now, the man see, just want to walk around with a hot butt? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Quick sidebar. <laughs> Let's go. There was a realtor, like, trending crazy on Twitter because he was real thick and he was pushing back some doors and people was like, okay, we have like a house, but dang, he thick. <laughs> now when you say figure, thick, when you say thick, like um, he was well endowed in the buttocks area. Oh, so boy had an hourglass shape. I, I don't know. And then it also reminded me of that episode of Girlfriends when Joan was like the guy who had a girdle under his bed. <laughs> and she was like, what woman's in here? I thought you were just dating me. And then he was like, really embarrassed because he's like, man, I get my hips from my mama. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he had the girdle. <sighs> so he could have gone and gotten something in hand. So he wouldn't have to wear that girdle no more. Yes. Mm. So it's like, okay. So did Joan stay with him? Oh, no. Nah. You know, she had trouble with relationships. Yeah, she did. So she she did. Because she needed to get with that one dude. Which one you that? know what I'm talking about. The one it that was, was friends. Oh, yeah. He, mm-hmm. I think they would have made a cute couple. Mm-hmm. He oh, tried. Man. They got oh, close man. one time. Yes. And I think they have uh, Girlfriends on Netflix. Oh, yeah, because my wife is binging it. At the, at, at the moment, she is binging Girlfriends. <laughs> She's like losing her mind, binging. Oh, wow. My girlfriend. So, That's all I hear. Really? Yeah. Damn, Damn through thick and thin. My girlfriend. Yeah, that's what be going on in my house. <laughs> okay. Well, Jess is telling us that it's time for our real estate topic. I had some more male enhancements. No, stuff. show them enhancements, girl. Show them enhancements. Okay, so here's one enhancement that I think if it makes y'all feel good, do it. Mm-hmm. Shantae says she likes girlfriends. Do it. So here is one, y'all. Can y'all see it? So one dude, he had like a bald head. He looked like he about 50. Mm. The next picture, he had some dreads. He looked like he about 35. That's now. a different person, man. No, it's that's the that same boy, person. That's that boy's son. So the man weave is popping. Man, that's that boy's son. The, the butt lifts for the man is popping. The, the pack implants is popping. And they also have penile implants as well. Uh, What? Yes. They have some penile. <laughs> now, I think they're in their first stages, so you might want to hold off if you uh, want to go venture down that road. Hey, bro. Hold on. Wait till a couple more years till they perfect the they penile. They say it ain't the size that counts. It's the motion and the ocean. Which is why a lot of people saying, go on, look into them penile. <laughs> so, you know. Man. You just first of all. It. You ain't gonna be playing with nothing down there, player. Like whatever the Lord gave you, you just got to go with it. So, what do you feel about the breast implants and the pack implants? Whatever the Lord gave you, work with. Well, all I'm saying is, is this: whatever floats your boat, man. Yeah. But see the but here's the thing about the breast and the pack implants. Like people can kind of see that, right? Mm-hmm. The penile implants, like what you just trying to get your bulge? How you walk around with a bulge in? Like, what if you're trying to get into a new line of work and that new line of work, you know, you got to compete. 
You got to compete. Yeah. It's very competitive based on my internet. So you, <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you invest in yourself. Like if you go and you want to be a good realtor, you go to a real estate school, you take you some CE courses and some classes. That's you right. Invest in yourself. Yeah, you invest. So the investment, the enhancement is just more knowledge based. Right. What's going on in your brain. Right. Not so physically. But I take that back though. I bet it's some realtors, some realtor women out there that's getting them enhancements. Well, we did taking see that, their business that to thick the next realtor level. was trending for a while. So I'm sure that property may have sold because his, his clients have been like, man, your thickness brought a lot of attention, attention to this. Because you was thick player. <laughs> Get the realtor with the thickness. Right. So hey, enhancement can work. All right. Well, would you get enhancements? I think maybe for medical reasons, like with the nose jobs, if I had trouble breathing, then they need to fix is, something. Is that why people do it, though? It's um, cosmetic, A lot right? of people say it helps. Oh, breathe your, your passageways? Yes. A lot of people say it helps. Um, Enhancements, eyes, maybe. Like your LASIK? I was thinking yeah, about that. I might give me some LASIK. Yeah, and then you nails. Um, mm. But none, sure? but none of the other stuff like like chin, you know, breasts. No. But. But then sometimes butt lift. for breasts, it's also health wise because people backs be hurt. Hey man, strengthen so. your back, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay, you enhance, try it. Enhance your back. You try to strengthen your back, and you got all this this stuff that's making you top heavy. Hey man, enhance your back. I mean, you got to get your bottom together, man. Go do you some lunges or something, man. Get on that, get on that squat. And you're gonna tip over. <laughs> yeah, so That's, if it's for health reasons, other then than you that, do it. you just gotta get used to how you look. Mm. You you love to. yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. But if it makes you happy, go ahead. We're not gonna shame you. No, we're not gonna shame you. Unless you're too thick and you're trying to sell a house, and then the world gonna be <laughs> like, look laugh. at that thick. Boy, boy, thick. <laughs> we gonna laugh at you. Woo. All right, what real estate tip you got for him? Well, it's not real estate tip, real estate topic. Yes, yeah, so our real estate topic of the day. Fine, uh, selling your home without a realtor. Yes. Who does that? A lot of people think they can. Why? But they soon find out that it's not a good Especially idea. Especially the buyers. Like, you're not even paying for it. Yes, you're not paying. Why would you not? That's like saying, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm I'm in trouble. I'm getting sued. I'm gonna go defend myself. I'm not gonna get no attorney, even though I can get an attorney and not have to pay the attorney. What is we doing? But people do it because I've seen those shows where people are defending themselves and they're they're talking and the judge is saying overrule, oh, sit down, so and so. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, it's like man, go get don't get you some help. But if I'm on trial, if I'm on a murder trial, right? Mm -hmm. I just don't feel like I should be placing myself in my own hands. Yes. You know, I would think that would be cause to say, okay, this is a mistrial because something wrong with them in the head. <laughs> to and, even try. Yeah, so maybe if you're a buyer and you have access to a free realtor. And you won't use them? Maybe something wrong with you in the head. <laughs> Margaret over there calling people crazy. No, I'm not calling you crazy. You just need to go talk to somebody. That's all. <laughs> Go you talk ain't got, to somebody. You ain't got no friends. Yeah, you 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 have representation here for you. You don't want to take it. Hey, if you had a friend, they wouldn't let you be in that situation. They wouldn't. And then the seller might say, "Look, we got a fresh one. Got them. Have a real thing. Got them both. Now, what about the sellers? Now, the sellers that be trying to I, I it kind of make more sense with them because they got to front the bill. Right. But they they still need to get a real I think. I think it would be in their best interest. You know, it's less stressful mm -hmm. because the realtors, we're making sure people are vetted. Mm -hmm. So we're calling around, hey, what's the approval letter? Mm -hmm. When can you close by? Now, as a regular seller, would they know what to look for? Would they know who to talk to? Would they mm -hmm. know who to ask? They think they do, though. I don't know. The do-it-yourself people. It's like, it's, they feel like selling their own house, selling their own house is like putting in their own floors. Like, oh, the same? Like changing out your faucet. Oh, I'm going to sell this house right fast. And then the, then the faucet leaking next week. <laughs> I know. I tried to do my own faucet, man. It was a disaster. <laughs> I never do it again. But um, the um, yeah, that don't make sense though. But here's the crazy thing about it though. So they trying to say that three percent, right? Most of the time they're trying to say that three percent because they willing to front that other three percent. But the statistics show that when you don't use a realtor, like you sell houses for like sixteen percent less. Like you would have been able to sell a house for like sixteen percent more. If you'd had a realtor or 22%, like depending on who you're talking to. 
So it's like you're trying to say three percent, but you're losing. It's worth it, y'all. It's worth it. Thirteen percent. I've also run into a situation to where a client of mine, my buyer client, wanted a house that was a for sale by owner. Mm. So I'm like, pay? okay. Now at first he didn't want to. He was like, I'm. I don't need no realtors involved. But in I got a buyer. But it's like I have a, a buyer. buyer, and then my buyer has a loan, and he has a lender. Well, do you know what his lender's going to need? You don't have the stuff. The lender's not going to take no handwritten contract <laughs> from you. He needs some some promulgated forms. What did he say? I got an attorney. Then I said, okay, go get your attorney. They charge you about an hour. Were they close or not? Yes. You got to pay that man. With me. Yeah, for whatever reason, we don't get money until it's done. Only who, until it's done. Who did that? I don't know. We need to talk about that, huh? We do. That needs to be a topic. We put in a lot of work. And sometimes, sometimes it don't does get not nothing. close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then y'all wonder why we be frustrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why we got to go get our nails done so we can get enhanced. Yes, we can get enhancement to make you happy. Make you feel better. Yes, make you feel better. Whew. So, yes, yeah, so I think... You guys, you should always use a realtor. You need to use realtors, man. I don't know what y'all trying to prove. What y'all out here trying to prove? This is, <laughs> stop. Stop trying to prove that. That you can do it by yourself? Yeah, man. Ain't nobody trying to do your job. Yeah, you're going to have gray hair when you finish. I promise you. You don't want this smoke in your life? Yeah, gray hair. You know, you might not get the property you want. You don't want that smoke. Maybe out of more money. You don't want that smoke. Because we do this all day every That's day. That's what we do, baby. So we do. I yeah. love when clients be like, I don't need a real top sold a house before. One? When? You gonna outdo me? You gonna you did one. <laughs> Thousand? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just saying. Laws change. You up on all that? Tripping. Go ahead and get 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 a get okay. a give the real give the real tours a tip, baby. Okay. Cause boys out here real touring. Okay. Real tours. Keeping it real tour. The tip. Hey, today. that should be that should be one of your shirts, Jess. Keeping, Keeping it, it real, real tour. tour. Man, I'm just keeping it real. Tour. Tour. Boom. I like that. I like that. <laughs> so the topic or the tip of the day is choosing your CE courses wisely. Mm. So every two years. Because you got a strategy for yes. how you choose yours, huh? Yes. So <laughs> throughout the year, you guys get on that create your new life. Because you get credit. And it's like every week if you're getting on there, you're staying on there and you're you know, engaging, mm -hmm. talking back and forth, they see your face, mm -hmm. you get a, a, a credit hour. for that. Yep, a one so hour CE, baby. That adds up if you do it. it will have sure, a many times. Just yeah. do it. You don't even have to do like. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. It's every week. Every week. So that helps. And yeah. you don't have to pay for something. You don't got to pay for it. Now, then you'll only have to take your legal yep. and your ethics. Uh, in your ethics. Mm, can't do nothing about that. And so if you're a supervisor you. or a broker, then you got to pay that broker responsibility player. I know you, <laughs> they they making you take that one too. Yeah, so choosing your CE courses wisely. Mm -hmm. And then also you can choose something that you're like really interested in. Mm, like what? Say some staging <laughs> or some feng shui. Some people are. Oh, uh, you know, I, I took a real good one one time about taking pictures. Like it was like a digital photography class that a okay. title company was giving one time. And you know what? I, to this day, I still use some of the techniques that I learned in that See? class. There mm -hmm. you go. Um, digital workspaces. Digital virtual workspaces. Like working digitally. Like what do you mean or working like with digitally? All of your contracts being in a digital environment, like no paperwork. Oh. Yeah. Classes mm. like that. Save the save the trees. Yes, yeah, save the trees. Uh, let's see what else. there's so many. So it's like you can maybe find something on horseback ride. Yeah, you ranch. know we add we adding a whole bunch next next quarter. That's but what we're working on. You. Yeah, we add ten. We're trying to which we we got ten that we've identified. Okay. Um, we at least doing three. Yeah, one of them is uh, by cryptocurrency. What? Mm, so you can actually get a CE credit. Mm -hmm. about yeah, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch wow. of them in there like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open houses, surveying. Um, but we picked, we did a survey, okay. and we got, we took the top three. So yeah, we had three, at least three new uh, CE courses that we're gonna be offering the third quarter. Okay. 
So when you get an opportunity to have a CE course for free, take it. Take yeah. it, take it, take it. They build up and add up, and at the end of the year, you're not stuck scrambling. Yeah. Trying to hurry up and take this so you can keep your license at. Mm-hmm. Because you got to do you got to do at least six elective credits. Mm-hmm. So you might as well just have them out the way. Right. Get them out the way. Get them out the way, and you're not stuck trying to cram and remember and retain information. Mm-hmm. The past. And then you rush, and then and then you still got to deal with these people over here trying not to hire you because they feel like they can do it themselves. Right. After you paid all that money for right. your CE, but you getting CE <laughs> courses, but they feel like they can just come and do it without no CE yeah, courses. Yeah, you know it. You know what you're doing. Okay. Well, how many CE courses have you taken? Really? So maybe we should ask our clients. Okay, how many continuing education courses have you taken in real estate? <laughs> Go. Hmm. I've taken how many? Like 128. Yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah. 16 years add up. Beat that. Think you can sell your house better than me, sucker? You don't got you don't know what you're doing. The hammer coming out. That's how you gotta look at him. Yeah, hey, you look, don't know what you're that's doing. That's how you look at him. You look in the camera. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gonna lose that house. You go, you you what they say, you about to lose your house. You, you about, about to lose, lose your house. house. Oh, that's so sad. You about, <laughs> you about to lose your house. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are silly. And then they had Elmo. That was my favorite. The Elmo dancing. Y'all are silly. Y'all are silly. All right, let's give away a cookbook. It's cookbook time. Oh, yeah. Who gonna get the cookbook? Shout out. Hey, but look, Fred just texted me. Fred just texted me saying that the, his, his trip is turn one tomorrow. Fred, Fred, shout out with his triplets. I wonder if they eat a lot of stuff out of this cookbook. All right, shout out to Fred. One, Mari, you can't be feeding babies. They cannot feed them babies that way. Okay. Hey, Jess, look, we can tell who ain't. Look, we can tell who ain't never had kids. Okay, but on the cool note, hold on this idea. That might be baby food line. I might have to uh, make that happen. Mm-hmm. Grits, baby hey, look, them babies don't need all them spices just yet, man. They don't need all them spices. <laughs> <laughs> them babies might be like, hey, thank you for the kick. Man. It'll be the kitty version. <laughs> Put all that yeah. salt in that food, all yeah. that spices on that baby, man. Are you saying these cuisines? I didn't say, hey, don't put no words in my mouth, Margaret. I ain't say nothing. We talking about these babies. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Well, awesome, man. Fred, congratulations on your triplets. We are about to get this cookbook for those who have entered into this drawing. All we ask is you like, share, and comment. So if you didn't get in this time, come back next week. All I need is a drum roll from my crew right there, and we're going to get this wheel rolling to see who is the winner for today. You are about to lose your house. You are about to lose your house. You are about to lose your house. You are about to win your house. Hey, go Shantae. Go Shantae. Go Shantae. Go Shantae. This week, this one of our regulars, man. Shantae be in the building. Congratulations, love. Go Shantae. You got your book, girl. So it'll be here at the office ready for you. Get that book to you. Good job, Shantae. Congratulations. Congrats. We love when we can take care of our regulars like that. All right, man. Well, what we got next week? Traveling after COVID. Ooh. It's about that time. Ready to get back out there. Yeah, I, I think I've been out there, though. Mm-hmm. Some of us has been doing all the things during COVID. I'm just <laughs> Look, COVID. Pandemic. Pandemic. Who? <laughs> we out here living our best life. Traveling. Gallivanting all around the country. Hey, let me tell you something. These airlines, though, mm-hmm. they back to where they need to be. They ain't struggling no more. Okay. Man, we was trying to we was trying to get to Florida. Uh and we were trying to fly five people. The and them prices was like mm. we ain't hurt no more, player. So well, they got a lot of debt. Yeah. So I'm, I don't think get that, out that debt. I don't think that uh people not traveling. Okay. They traveling. Yeah. But I guess we'll talk more about that. Okay, cool. Next week. 
after COVID. I'm thinking about getting my name, my name Omi Campbell on, how she was wiping down all the seats and had her coverings on. Did she? Yes. That's hot. Nobody finna do all that. She ain't get sick. How you know? Cause they don't show you that part. That's how she rubbed. They don't she show you that. Sick. They don't show you that part. I'm gonna look for it for next week. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, Thank it's you. always been fun. It's always crazy. The mastermind with crazy deranged. Um, but I have been your host, Michael G. Davis, broker, CEO, realtor, plus business coach, aka Professor X. Because I peel back them layers in your brain, move them challenges out of the way so you can succeed in life. Enjoy, <laughs> as always, in my shenanigans. We got Margaret to my right. Yes, it has been a wonderful show. Thank you guys for joining us yes, today. Yes. I am Margaret, also known as Mystique, because I will flip on you when it comes to negotiations. Right fast. Yes. You ain't even know you was cut. Right she just fast. cut you like that. Boom. Mm -hmm. You're done. And as always, we're going to let her close the show out for us today. Our super producer in the back, Mrs. Jessica J. Hold it. Oh, I see y'all holding that note. We got it. We got it. It's your keeper realtor, a.k.a. J. Joseph, a.k.a. X-Ray getting down to your real estate needs. I see what you can't see, guys. We're going to have a great rest of the day. All right. You take care and we will see you next week. Have a good one, Mastermind Through Tough Times. Let's go.